After claiming the MIAA regular season title, number 18th ranked Central Missouri Jenny's Volleyball looks to keep the momentum going into the conference tournament in St. Joseph, Missouri. Eight Jennies earned all MIAA honors, including redshirt senior Olivia Olson, named MIAA Player and Setter of the Year. Caitlin Peterson was named the MIAA Coach of the Year. Top seeded Jennies faced number eight seed Emporia State in the quarterfinals. First set tied at 19. Redshirt senior outside hitter Kirsty Nix connects from Olson, finds the seam and down the line for the kill, puts the Jennies on top 20 to 19. Nix finished with six kills. Then nodded at 24 off a of free ball, Arlie Anderson with the pass. Olsen sets middle for sophomore Rachel Ziesman. She swings and it's too much for Emporia's defense. Ziesman had nine kills on 13 attempts. Moments later, Olsen sets for freshman middle blocker Eleanor Ingle. She connects. The Hornets unable to respond. Ingle had eight kills and three blocks. The Jetties take set 126-24. Second set, off the block touch, Lears with the dig, Olsen sends it over, dumped to the back left corner, Jenny's leading 6-4 early. Later, Hornets on the attack, but Nix and Ingle there for the block, makes it 18-10 Central Missouri. Still in the second, Lears with the service ace, the redshirt senior had a match high four aces, the Jenny's win set to 25-11. UCM looking to close it out in three. On the right side, Emma Siren fires one cross court from Olsen, Siren had five kills, Jenny's leading 20 to 17. Then on match point, Olsen goes back to Lears on the outside, kill off the block. Lears had a team high 11 kills on 22 swings and six digs. Olsen had a match high 34 assists. Central Missouri takes set three, 25 to 21, sweeping Emporia State three sets to none in the MIAA tournament quarterfinals. The Jennies would defeat the four seed Missouri Western in the semifinals 3 to 1 to advance to the MIAA tournament championship match. Central Missouri squaring off with the number three seed, Nebraska Kearney. Opening set tied at five, pass from Grace Winkleman. Olivia Olson sets Sydney Lears on the outside, down the line, and too much for UNK. Lears had 17 digs and eight kills. Later, what a save by Arlie Anderson keeps it alive for the Jennies. That would eventually lead to this solo block by Eleanor Ingle. UCM on top 19 to 12. Central Missouri would take set 125 to 16. Early in the second set, Olsen sets for Rachel Ziesman on the slide, connects and gets the kill off the block. UCM leading 3 to 1. Later, the Jennies defense getting it done. Ziesman and Olsen with the stuff makes it 13 to 11 Central Missouri. It gets tight later in the set, down one. Olsen sets Emma Siren, puts it away for the easy kill, ties it at 25. Siren finished with nine kills. Later on set point, Ziesman gets the service ace. The Jennies closed it out on a four to one run, winning set two, 27 to 25. Central Missouri stayed focused in the third. Ziesman with a huge rip down the middle, part of a 5-1 run to open the set. Ziesman had a match high 15 kills and added three blocks. Later, Ingle from Olsen swings through for the kill, UCM leading with a five-point advantage. The Jennies adding to their lead. Dig by Lears, Olsen sets Nix, connects off the block and down for the kill. Nix finished with seven kills, UCM on top 16-7. Central Missouri keeps it going. Olsen sets middle for Ingle. She attacks the back row. The freshman finished with 11 kills. The Jennies leading by 10. On match point, Siren gets the service ace. UCM closed it out on a 9-2 run, taking set three 25-11. Olsen finished with a match high 41 assists. Top seeded Central Missouri wins its fourth MIAA tournament title, sweeping Nebraska Kearney. Lears, Ziesman, and Olsen were selected to the 2023 MIAA Volleyball Championship All-Tournament team. Being able to win the regular season was, was really great. We had um, a, a loss or two in there that we were kind of worried about, um, but to win the regular season is a really hard task in the MIAA. Um, I think some people maybe thought it was a fluke for us, uh, so I'm really proud of them to come out here and, and show everybody that, that they really did deserve to be number one. Um, they fought so hard, they've been challenged, and, and they never back down, and they, they always compete, and I am so proud of them. We've kind of said all season long, like, no one believes in us except for ourselves, and I think that's really fueled us all season. Pieces are finally coming together, and it's a really great feeling, and um, 
I, we've been working really, really hard in practice um, on defense and covering and blocking and stuff. And it's really nice to see it all come together finally. Coming in, just knowing that my obviously I have a great team behind me to swing. So I feel comfortable to swing because if I'm going to get blocked hard, someone's going to be there to dig it or cover me. And that's what I feel like is really important. It's incredible. I, they're such a wonderful group of young women, um, top to bottom, starters, non-starters. Um, they're all wonderful people. And so for them to be rewarded is so great. Um, and for them all to kind of be able to step up at different times. You know, we can rely on, you know, outside sometimes and middles and, and we can really kind of, you know, move our offense around. And um, I think that was what makes them special. So I'm really proud of them to, you know, when they have a chance to step up and, and help our team win. Once the ball hit the floor, we all came together and we were looking at each other right in the eyes. And I was like, wow, this is, this is my team. And I will scream that this is my team. I'm so proud of everyone on this team, if you're on the court or if you're not. Everyone has worked so hard this season and I can't wait to see where we go.